A Lismore man is facing trespass charges after chaining himself to a bulldozer at a coal seam gas holding pond near Casino. The man was one of more than 60 protesters calling on the state government to ban the wastewater ponds. But the government's washing its hands of the issue, saying the ponds were approved by Richmond Valley Council. At the crack of dawn, 39-year-old Davy Ramsey chained himself to a bulldozer in a desperate bid to stop Matt Gasco finishing construction works at this wastewater pond. I'm doing this just to um, protect the uh, area from uh, just the ravages of this toxic industry. Alone and battling the morning chill, he waited patiently, supported from afar by over 60 protesters. People are really well informed now and they don't like it. There are five holding ponds in the region. This one is under construction and another is in the pipeline. Protesters want them banned and are calling on the state government to halt their construction. Why is this evaporation pond allowed to be going ahead when the specific policy was that we don't do any more evaporation ponds in New South Wales? Fix it and fix it right and fix it now. After refusing to be coaxed away from the bulldozer, police rescue were called in to cut Mr Ramsey free, his six-hour stint applauded by supporters. This is the first direct action taken by Northern Rivers protesters, but it's likely it's not going to be the last. They say that until the state government listens to their concerns, they will continue to be active. We don't want this industry in our region, then we're forced to take these sort of actions to try to protect our land and protect our water. Davy Ramsey was charged with trespass and refusing police direction. Kate Dorrington, NBN News. The first man ever arrested at a coal seam gas protest on the Northern Rivers has walked away from court without a charge to his name. Davy Bob Ramsey was taken into custody for trespass last month after he chained himself to a bulldozer near Casino. Last month, Davy Ramsey gained notoriety in the fight against coal seam gas. The 39-year-old Lismore man was charged with trespass after chaining himself to a bulldozer at a Met Gasco construction site near Casino, becoming the first person in northern New South Wales to be arrested at a coal seam gas protest. He took very important action on behalf of the community generally to really take a stand against this damaging industry. Today at Casino Local Court, his charges were dismissed, supporters viewing the outcome as a small victory against the coal seam gas industry and crowning Davy a hero. This is for you, oh, Davy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an ordinary person. I'm not, I don't want to you know, put myself above anyone else as far as being a hero. I think we're all heroes. So many people in the community have done so many great things so far around this issue and it's going to continue. While campaigners celebrated Davy's good fortune, managing director of Metgasco, Peter Henderson, was making a statement of his own, drinking produced water out of the same wastewater pond that sparked Mr Ramsey's direct action. Good luck to him, I'd say, but uh, bad luck if it's, uh, if it's not what he thought it was and what was in the water is not what he thought it was. And the reason we're here today is to actually <coughs> explain to people that our industry is safe and to counter some of the misinformation that has been spread about our industry. Metgasco stands by its assertion that its produced water is not toxic and has released details on what's in the water on its website. Kate Dorrington, NBN News. Meanwhile, the Lock the Gate Alliance is upset with the state government, which has given Metgasco the green light to dispose of its wastewater at the Casino Sewerage Treatment Plant. The Environment Protection Authority has approved a one-off operation, which will see the company dump 5 million litres into the council system. And how come suddenly it was inappropriate a little while ago and suddenly it's appropriate that they put the water through the sewerage works? The group has also criticised Metgasco for not having a system of disposal in place to service its ponds. That's not fair. Before you can decide what you're going to do with the produced water, you do need to produce it and find out how much water you're getting and what quality it is. Once you've got that data, then you can make the next decision.